Today we're doing programming of the um, 301 controller. Um, there's two sets of programs. One is in a main menu, and I'll review that real quick. That's available in the manual. So the instructions for this controller for the main menu are included with the manual. The second um, set of menu options are in what's called the hidden or technician's menu. That'll be available online so you can download that and review that as you program the controller. I'll go over them today. But first of all I just want to go quickly over the main menu um, procedure. You just basically hold the set button in the middle. The As you can see on the screen the menu comes up. The first one is for the high limit on the tank second one is Celsius or Fahrenheit. The way you set these is you, as they're flashing, you can set them. Uh, let's go back. Um, you press set. You press and hold set with this one and it'll go to Celsius. You press and hold set again and it goes to Fahrenheit. And then the scrolling through the menu options, you just use the lower arrow T1. That's a, this is all explained in the manual. That's the holiday function. That's the o, this is the only function in the main menu that's also uh, you can pair it up with uh, the hidden menu, one of the options to change the parameter in that uh, holiday function. The last one is the freeze protection. Uh, all that's explained in the in the main menu. Again, to to set, let's say we'll go back I'm going to real quickly open the menu again. If you want to change this high limit, you just, you're just going to press set until the number, fla the temperature flashes, default of 140, and then you increase or decrease with the hot up and down arrow until you get to what you want, back to 140, and you press set to stop the number from flashing, then it's that's what you have set it to 140. Again, that's the Celsius Fahrenheit. That's the tube function or interval function which you generally do not touch. Again, it's explained in the main menu. The holiday function, that's one we can learn how to set. The, the umbrella is flashing. You just press and hold the set button until a check mark appears. It's set. Then you want to scroll through freeze protection. If you need it, you just press and hold the set button. The check mark, it, check mark is in the little box. And then you press the down, the, the down arrow one more time. You're back to the main screen and you can see in the screen it's 76. That's the temperature in the room here. Um, and the umbrella and the snowflake are in the screen. That means they're activated. So just to give you an idea on the screen, once it, you can press the down arrow, that gives you the tank temperature, 76. I have two sensors hooked up. That's uh, the temperature in the room. So we want to, let's say we want to, we want to clear the screen again for, of the main menu. We just push it down, push the set button. We'll go to the holiday function. We'll press and hold set till the check mark is gone. It's gone. We'll scroll to the freeze protection. We'll press and hold the set button until this it's gone. We're back to a normal screen. And then the operation of the whole controller is explained in the in the main menu that I showed. Now the hidden menu has this menu has ten options. You may not use them all. Um, I label them. There's ten. Um, basically. I'll go, the options are a differential on, a differential off, a hysteresis, which is just like a spread, be, it's a, a difference between the tank high limit and when it comes back on, which this is defaulted at six. There's an over temperature function on and off. There's a holiday function activation, which is defaulted at 95 and you can activate it and reset that if you want. There's a minimum collector temperature uh, default at 32. 
that's um, you have to enter activate it there's a pump uh, for freeze protection that's um, for normal open loop systems you use that um, it's defaulted at 32 you can change it and then the last two are related to stagnation function we covered that before but you have to activate it turn it on and then you in the in number nine and then in number ten you can um, set the the spread on when you how you want it to function again that's a whole separate video so how do you get into the hidden menu that's the you take you have it, it's a little hard because they don't want you changing it inadvertently you press all three buttons simultaneously for at least five seconds and then what will happen you'll see on the screen we'll press them and you'll see on up here on and it's that's the differential on that is in the controller it's defaulted at 16 do we want to change it we'll change it we press set until on flashes and 16 comes up so now it's changeable you you can change it down or up they can only be and you can only go so far before the, there's a difference between on and off of four so you, you cannot um, come within four degrees of each other we'll get there so this is on at 16 we've scrolled through back to 16 we want to leave it at default for this <laughs> and then you press set now 16 is set now on, so now you want to go to the if you go too long in your process of changing things it'll revert back to the main menu so we'll hit off we'll hit the down arrow that's scrolling through the the in the hidden menu there's 10 options and so we're at number two uh, and that's off differential and you want to set it you press and hold set that's eight so now it's flashing when things are flashing you can change them with the up and down arrow so we're going to go seven six five four that's usually that's one number that's used um, quite a bit for off if you want to set it you press set but we're not going to set it today we'll go back to eight we always leave it in, in the defaults that but uh, we always leave it that way when we sell the control um, and then we set now when do we use this hidden menu and change this is is the installer or the designer can opt to uh, have the control changed usually it's on site by the installer based on the system design so these are this allows for more options for the installer we go we scroll down we get his we get a H Y H S, which is the number three menu window its default is at six we can again hold press and hold the set button it shows six we can set it lower so the tank only has to cool down to two degrees for it below its high limit which is defaulted in the main menu at 140 before it turns back on so we just press it back up arrow we get to six there we go and then we press set so the hysteresis is back to the default six now we scroll through on this is the return temperature at which the panel will turn on this is usually used in 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 glycol pressurized systems and if we press the set button we'll get 261 I'm gonna leave it there we'll press set again again uh, it, it's the limit it's the low side of where it'll come on then we'll press the down arrow this is off on this is for the collector we'll press and hold set and that's 266 so the way that works those two functions which are four and five off if, if the panel gets to 266 it turns off and then back at four if it gets to 261 it turns back on those are changeable but they have to be within four to, above four degrees so I can't if I try to um, set this to 267 is fine I can go higher but now I'll come down 266 265 265 I can I can only go 265 in this scenario because I'm within four degrees of the default of the other one 
I'm going to go to, and what you have to do is go back to number four and lower the turn on temperature to lower the shut off temperature if you want them all lower. You can go higher. Again, we can go higher if you want to not turn the, uh, if you want to turn the controller off at a higher temperature. Um, no, I'm sorry, higher. 267, 8, 9, 70. Okay, so we're going to go back to 266 and set. Okay, so that's the hot, that's for the collector high on and, and off. Now, I've just gone to vacation function and it's off. You don't have to, to change this, but if you want to change the temperature at which the holiday function turns off, you press and hold set. It'll come up to 95. That's the default. That's kind of disc uh, also in the main menu. You have to energize the, def the holiday function in the main menu for this to work. And then you just change it. Let's say you don't want your tank to go below 100. You can set it to below a to 100 and then the holiday function turns off. Or if you, we go back to 95, the holiday function drops the tank to 95 degrees overnight and then it um, shuts off. So that's that's changeable in the hidden menu. We've just set it to off. And now we um, we scroll down to the minimum freeze protection, a freeze temperature on the roof. I uh, will hold it. This is, we, we do the same function for changing things as we do in the hidden menu. It's, it's defaulted at 32 if I want the panel to warm up a little bit. Usually this is used with drain back systems. We can raise the temperature. Or if you're in colder climates where there's snow, you might want to have the collector get up to, to 80 or between 70 and 90 degrees before it even turns on. So that's, that's what that does. It says the collector has to be at, in this case right now, 65 in order to turn on. So if it's really cold and cloudy, snowy, and there's no heat, it won't turn on until the collector's at 65. So we're going to drop it down again to th the 32. 32 is just a default. But if you want the collector to warm up first to come on, sometimes that's nice to do um, to, to prevent cycling in the morning because the panel heats up, the differential comes on, and then we set uh, the differential comes on and then turns off because the panel cools down. So you can raise it up so the panel gets a little heat inside there so it's kind of, in a way, has a little bit of stored heat. So then, so that's the freeze protection. That's number eight, the menu item eight, and then now that's um, the freeze recirculation. I'm sorry, yeah, freeze recirculation is eight. Minimum temperature collector is seven. Freeze recirculation. That and what that does is it changes the logic in the controller. <coughs> it's just an on and off. Just push the set button. It should be. Yeah, you <coughs> excuse me, set the check the lower arrow, it turns it on. You push set. <coughs> excuse me. With the freeze circuit on, if the collector sensor on the roof breaks. Or if there's a, an, an additional freeze sensor switch up there, when that opens, it'll turn the pump on. Now, this is only for open loop systems. Um, it could be used in other applications, but that's how this works. So we're going to go back to turning it off. And use the low, again, use the lower key. It'll turn it off. And then you set it. And so it's off. So that's back at the default. That's a... An, uh, uh, another option for freeze protection in case, um, again, it, 
you have both the sensor that senses freeze protection and the um, snap switch. Again, you have to have, go, going into the hidden menu, freeze protection has to be active. So when you look at the main screen, it, it, back at the beginning, you'll see the umbrella and the snowflake. Those two items have to be in the screen. I'm going to move it to the next one before it changes on me. Those, the, uh, the umbrella and the snowflake have to be activated in the main menu in order for you to use the holiday function setting in the hidden menu which is number six and then number eight is the freeze um, uh, circuit in the hidden menu. To, change, to activate those in the hidden menu it has to be on the um, main menu it has to be active in the control so this is stagnation reduction function it's off um, to change it to on we just push the set button and off flashes you press the down arrow it turns on you set it on is now not flashing so it's it's active it's been programmed and so that uh, in in stagnation reduction function we we did a video on that that um, it's it's it stair steps the pump the pump turns on and off during the day at the height of the day to prevent the pump from shutting completely shutting off due to high limit um, on the storage tank so we'll leave it we're going to turn it back to off oh, when it's on then you can go into if I leave it on you go to the last position that's 40 that one's changeable but we usually leave it there that's a difference in temperature of when the pump starts and the high the temperature in the collector so the the d default on the high limit is 266 so if this uh, stagnation reduction is active it has to drop to 226 in order for the pump to start and then, then it operates between 226 and 206 there's a it's kind of a again go back to the stagnation reduction video between 226 and 206 it operates in that between the, that 20 degree differential until the the, the sun uh, goes down or until the tank high limit is reached so it it might be one to again one to three hours that it can run on that before it reaches high limit or the sun drops so now as you see I left it go <laughs> the controller is back in its main menu and that's just you you operate the lower arrow we will scroll through the temperatures I have two temperatures set up you can put a third one in I recommend a third sensor so you can see what the top of the tanks doing but we comes with two so now because I've come out of the menu I'm gonna reset it because I wanna I'm gonna go back into the hidden menu press all three buttons simultaneously you have to wait five seconds and then you get the on so we're gonna scroll down I've that's the snowflake I didn't change that his now that's the number nine so I'm gonna change that back off it on is flashing because its default is off it's flashing and I'll push set so now my stagnation reduction function is off this is 40 I didn't change that and then at the end you just push the arrow one time if you don't want to wait and you're back to the hidden menu all the program settings that you program into the controller whether it's on the main menu which is we just do it again whether it's in this menu there's five or in the hidden menu which there's a total of 10 those those remain with the controller whether the controller has power or not so you don't have to reprogram it every time there's a a power outage or you unplug it those those settings are um, permanently in the controller thank you